humans, Blazy and Boy TV here, and welcome back to episode, I think we're on 7 now, of the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Nuzlocke. I'm not quite sure, I got kind of confused. Out of the way, move it! Wait, please, don't take those parts! I guess that the grunt is trying to steal the demon parts again. Also, sorry if my throat sounds a little bit... Like, sorry if my voice sounds a little weird today. My throat's really dry today. I'm recording this back-to-back -back with the end of last episode. Oh, you there! You're that fantastic trainer who helped me in Pelberg Woods. Help me, I was robbed by Team Aqua. I have to get the demon parts back. If I don't, I'm going to be in serious trouble. Alright, I guess we'll help you again. No, I'm just kidding. We will. Zigs again. I really need to swap out. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to swap out Comet with, um, with Pinguino because I don't want to lose Comet. Um, there we go. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I already fought you, right? Um, yeah, I fought him when I was grinding. Who are you? Oh, what am I to do? We were just on our walk, Pico and I, when we were attacked by, by him. Wait. Oh, it said a thug. It, it went very fast. And then the scoundrel made off with my darling Pico. Where are you, Pico? Let's go this way. What? Are you coming? Come and get some, then. Yeah. This hostage Pokemon turned out to be worthless. And to think I made a getaway into this tunnel to nowhere. And you, now you're here to battle me. Really? Alright, so a Puccino. We can definitely beat that very easily. And Pinguino is going to level up. I'll take it. Alright, so we got the demon parts. Also, give me the wing all back. Oh, he's just gonna leave it there. I wish we still had our wing all. Pico, am I glad to see you're safe. My Pico owes her life and freedom to you, lad. They call me Mr. Briny, and you are. Ah, so it's Blaziken Boy TV, is it? Then I sincerely thank you, Blaziken Boy TV. If there's ever a thing I can do to help you in turn, don't you hesitate to tell me. Alright, so he'll be in his cottage near Petalbark Woods. In fact, I think we're about to need him very, very soon. And of course, right before we get attacked. Okay, so we walk out and there's... And he's standing right here. Uh, I don't know why he was right there, but... Oh, how did it go? Did you get my demon parts? You did! You got them back! You really are a great trainer! I know, as my thanks, I'll give you... A great ball! Why, thank you! I'm going to have to use this Great Ball and that Premier Ball that we got a few episodes ago. For some future encounters. Wait, no. Now that I think about it, I might have used the Premier Ball on Pile? I don't remember. Oh, 
Maybe it's still there. I don't know. Our president would like to have a word with you. Oh, no. Am I in trouble? Ah. Please, go ahead. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Deven Corporation. I heard just now we have quite a bit to thank you for. So you helped out my staff not just once, but twice. There's a favor I'd like to ask of a reliable trainer like you. Now I want you to know I'm a president you can trust. I've never been so mean as to ask a favor for nothing in return. Here, give me your Pokenav Plus for a, for a moment. Buzznav. The function I just added to your Pokedav Plus is called Buzznav. I never used that, by the way. It is an indispensable tool for any trainer who is traveling out in the world. Use it, and you'll be able to get the lightest news from around the region and from your own friends anytime and any place. Now let me get to the important issue of what is it I need you to do. I want to ask you to deliver this letter to a man named Stephen. You should find him in Duford. Alright, so now let's go to Duford. Wait a minute. We'll have to go ask Mr. Briny. I bet he didn't expect, um, expect for us to ask for a favor this soon, did he? But nope, we're gonna go. We're gonna go ask him. And there's me. All right, so now we just have to go back to, we have to just go back through Route 104. We already fought all these trainers, so we have nothing to really worry about. Um, let's go this way. Did we not fight him? We didn't. Why did I not fight him? I need to, I need to fight every single trainer without skipping. I mean, he just has an Enkeda, so it's, it's not gonna get us a level up on any of our Pokemon, most likely. And it's probably a few levels lower. Yeah, it's level 8, or 10 levels higher, because... We should have fought him a while ago. Oh, I think that when we were about to get Boppelgang, I just skipped him. Just because I didn't want Boppelgang to run away. Uh, Odor, Sloth, nah. I don't think we should really have that. Like, we, we won't find any ghost types this early on in the game. So, it's not going to be useful until, like, late game. And then, by then, we'll probably already have someone who has Odor Sloth. So, I'm not going to teach it to Eren because, I mean, Poochina and Mydena can learn, like, really good moves. They're really strong attackers. Did we fight him? No. Well, yes, we did. Alright, so here is Mr. Briny's cottage. Oh no, he's chasing Pico! Oh no! Now Pico's chasing Mr. Briny! Oh, if it ain't Blazik and Boy TV, you're the one who saved my Pico! Hey, but we owe you for that day. What's this? You want to sail with me? What's this all about, then? A letter bound for Duford? Certainly, that'd be no problem at all. You've come to the right man. Shall we hoist sail for Duford at once? Yes. Ahoy, Duford. And we get quite a few encounters here, actually.
Ahoy, we've struck land in Duford, lad. I suppose you'll be heading ashore to deliver that letter to what's his name or whomever. Alright. So, the first thing we have to do is we have to go and get the fishing rod. Um, so, yeah, by the way, it is not in this house. I just went in there just so that you guys wouldn't, and just so you guys would know that the guy who gives you a fishing rod isn't in that house. I knew that he wasn't in that house. Let's ask this guy. Um, yes. There we go. That's the guy that we get. So, first of all, we get an encounter in Duford City. But let's make sure we have enough Pokeballs because I don't want to just run out. We have three Pokeballs and a Great Ball. I'm going to stock up on some more just to be safe. Okay, so it turns out there's actually no Pokemart in Newford City. Once again, I already knew that I was just going to the Pokemart so that you guys would know there isn't one. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to the Old Rod. We'll register it. Three Pokeballs and a Great Ball is going to have to do. Alright, a Magikarp. I'll take it. Level 10. That's pretty decent. Level 10. Wait, nope, nope, nope. We can't just throw Pokeballs because we actually get four encounters that are near us. So we're going to have to use all four of these Pokeballs. Will Rock Tomb kill it? Please don't kill it. Okay, that works perfectly. That works perfectly. Now this guy, he's not breaking out. And I should have stocked up on more Pokeballs before we, before we left. Actually, now that I think about it, I could just go back to Petalburg City and then buy Pokeballs there. Okay, so we got Magikarp. All right, so the fan that I will be naming this Magikarp after is none other than Crazy. I know this is how he spell this is how he spells it, I believe, with Z A, not A Z. So yeah, um, Crazy. I just think Crazy is a great name for a Gyarados. However, we get more encounters. That's not the only one. Over here on Route 107. Um, actually, I don't know if we can get anything over here besides Magikarp and Tentacle. I feel like we can get something else here, but then the other place we can go, the only other thing is Tentacle. So, I'm just going to go and get the tentacle first, so that then we're not wasting an encounter, if that makes sense. No, not there, not there. I didn't mean to click there. Route 106. Boom. Alright. And we are getting a... Tentacle, there we go. Tentacle? A lot of people don't like Tentacle. I love Tentacle and Tentacle. Okay, so first of all, Tentacle was my first ever shiny I ever got. So that just makes him very special to me. Well, I did fail a shiny Magikarp. I killed it. All right, so we caught a tentacle.
crazy also would have been a pretty cool name for a tentacle. All right, so this tentacle, hmm, who am I going to name it after? I don't know. Okay, guys, so this tentacle will be called Isaiah after Isaiah Martinez. All right, so it's getting kind of, it's, it's, it's beginning to get a little bit long. This episode is starting to get a little long, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thanks for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!